Tonight we are taking you to the Arizona Science Center where an old exhibit is making its return to the museum. 12 News journalist Ginger Jeffries is checking out the Sky Cycle. Thanks, guys. Well, have you ever wondered how many steps it would take to reach the moon? I've got the answer to that question. The answer, a little over two billion. But now, you know what? We're stepping into the world of the sky cycle, which is a lesson in what, Jorge? In physics. We're going to be changing our center of gravity using a giant pendulum. And that brings our center of gravity lower, allowing riders of the sky cycle to sway left and right without worry of falling over. It's so wonderful to see the sky cycle back in the sky because it's been closed down for a while. Why? Due to COVID, but now that we're back at pre-COVID operating power where it's opened back up. And I understand this isn't for everyone. There are some parameters we have to live within. Yes, we do follow strict guidelines, but that's for our riders' safety. Tell me about those guidelines. If you're over 54 inches, over the age of 7, and under 225 pounds, you're all set. So what can we take away from riding the sky cycle? Because I know I did it, and at first it's like, oh, but you feel so empowered and at the same time exuberant. Right. I think the good takeaway from this is that safe science is good science, and that is what we practice here at the Arizona Science Center for all of our guests. Oh, such a good call, Jorge. With the kids still out of school, you want to learn, you want to have fun, check out the Arizona Science Center. Woo! Hands in the air. Wave them like you don't care. Woo! Back to you. <laughs> oh, that looks like so much fun. All right, the kids probably love that. I know.